Well, hey, this is Justin. Welcome to the Site Grinder Hints videos. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the different uh, gallery option types uh, in the Design Manager for Site Grinder. Here I am in the Design Manager, and I'm going to click this drop down. I'm going to start off uh, with just the Site Grinder CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And what I want you to notice real quickly is just uh, I have about four different options here. Uh, so we could um, play around with a, a few of these. If I do an inset, it's actually going to make my image inset into the middle here, which uh, doesn't look that great. So change that back. And you can see what you want to happen when you actually click that image. Um, I do have a big box option which uh, show you how that works real quickly if I just click apply now over here in the right if I click on that image I'm actually going to get a big box as you can see there so um, I can have it started a random image if I want to and I can also enable uh, the feature to uh, disable a click if you don't want someone to be able to uh, save your image Moving on to the next one, uh, we have Flash, which uh, obviously gives you a lot of uh, different cool animated effects, including a um, even a feature here to go to your next and uh, previous images. And uh, there's a lot of different options here. Um, one of the drawbacks to Flash is um, you can't view this on a uh, mobile device and so uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're considering using flash and so the nice thing about this built-in control for flash is uh, you obviously don't need to know any flash uh, but you are going to get uh, a lot of different um, effects to choose from by uh, using the site grinder flash control here uh, to the next one if I go to before and after if I click apply you're going to notice I'm going to get an error up here into the, in this header window and uh, that's because I would need to um, set up my Photoshop file just a little bit differently to make this a before and after uh, view sheet so I'm just going to move on to the next one uh, I personally like the site grinder animated CSS uh, because this has a lot more options than did the regular site grinder CSS and uh, the nice thing about this is that uh, you can view this on a mobile device and uh, there's a lot of different things that we can do in this in, uh, in these options as well so for example uh, we can have it autoplay and just have it go to the next image every three seconds I can control that right here um, as well as even the crossfade time if I want that to slow down or even speed up for example I'll just change it to uh, uh, one full second instead of a half a second you'll just notice that my uh, crossfade times um, lengthen just a little bit I can uh, loop it if I want to do that or just have it stop but this is a really nice feature um, for uh, the home page and then lastly we have the um, Amon flash um, feature and uh, there's really only um, one option I get in here but let me apply this so you can just see what happens it's gonna kinda give me this iTunes effect and um, so let's just change it real quickly I'll just go to advanced when clicked I'll apply this so now when I click it it's gonna bring in my different images and so obviously that's not an ideal effect for this website uh, but it could come in handy for yours so uh, well there's a real quick overview of the different kind of uh, picture box controls um, that we have available in SiteGrinder.